Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Weather Extreme Video, this is for New Year's Eve, Tuesday, the 31st of December, 2019. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather quiet through tomorrow. Soaking rains by Thursday. Much colder Saturday. Could we see a snowflake somewhere over North Alabama Saturday? Ah, let's talk about it. We'll start with the upper air look this morning, as we often do. Troughing over the east. We note that uh, strong upper low that's southwest of San Diego. It'll be phasing up with the northern branch system, setting up that big rain event here Thursday. Temperatures are mostly in the 30s and 40s to start the day. 35 for Cullman and Fort Payne, Gadsden 38. Birmingham 41, highs in the 50s today. Coldest air up north and out west. They are hovering around zero in parts of Colorado and Wyoming. Very cold out in the mountains. Got a few winter weather issues way up north. Things are quiet across the southern states. This is the severe weather outlook today. Pretty quiet. Maybe some thunder over western Washington state. Tomorrow, the chance of some thunder for the western Gulf Coast region. And day three on Thursday, the SPC guys have introduced a marginal risk of severe storms for parts of the central Gulf Coast region. In Alabama, that low-end marginal risk includes the southwest part of the state for areas basically south of a line from York to Demopolis to Fort Deposit down to about Enterprise, areas in darker green. And there could be a few storms with gusty winds. Remains to be seen if the warm sector can get that far north. But for most of the state, just a soaking rain in here, Thursday afternoon, Thursday night. Speaking of rain, this is the rain for the next seven days, precipitation. Really big numbers up there in western Washington state, but uh, pretty decent numbers down here. Uh, rain amounts will be between two and three inches for much of north Alabama one to two inches for the south, and we note that the WPC guys, uh, Weather Prediction Center, they've got, now this is not severe weather, this is the excessive rain outlook for Thursday and Thursday night. They've got the standard risk of flooding now defined from near uh, Macomb and Jackson, Mississippi, up into northwest Alabama with a marginal risk over the rest of north and central Alabama. So there could be some flash flooding issues Thursday afternoon, Thursday night into Friday morning. So keep that in mind. Wouldn't be shocked if a flash flood watch will be required for parts of the state with that. All right, model fans, let's go here. Let's take a look at this thing. Here's the GFS, the 06C run, 4 o'clock this afternoon, 3 o'clock this afternoon. Troughing in the northeast, you can see that strong upper low that's around Baja. But for us, a beautiful day, sunny, cool, mid-50s. Tomorrow, rain begins to break out over Texas, but we're still dry. Maybe some high clouds, still lots of sun. High should be in the 50s. Thursday, boom, here comes the rain. Uh, the rain moves into the northern half of the state. I'm afraid it's going to be pretty wet for the Birmingham Bowl Thursday afternoon at 2 o'clock out at Legion Field at Cincinnati and Boston College. But no severe weather, just rain. Now, this is Friday. I think the really big rain mass moves on to the east, but... Uh, we might have a little drier slot aloft, so it might. We'll have some breaks in the rain, I think, on Friday. But still, we're going to mention a chance of showers and no cold air. In fact, uh, we're going to be up in the 60s. There's a deep surface low that's south of Chicago, and the air tries to destabilize a little bit. But again, I don't expect any severe weather issues on Friday if we see any destabilization. Now, look at Saturday. This is the upper look. A bowling ball comes through here. Deep, deep upper low. And you know what we're going to say. Cold core, upper low, say it, weatherman's woe. And uh, Saturday looks like a cloudy and cold day. We'll be in the 40s all day. And uh, right underneath that cold core, because of very cold air aloft and dynamic cooling, there could be a few snowflakes in Tennessee and maybe, maybe somewhere in North Alabama. But again, most of the cooling here is aloft. The surface temperature is well above freezing. So if there's a snowflake, there's no need to panic. But a cold, raw, cloudy day with some light rain or drizzle and maybe a snowflake. This is the European on Saturday. Same idea. Really no difference. Go to Sunday. We're dry. We start the day in the 20s. The high will be in the 50s. Monday, sunny and cool. And this is a week from today, Tuesday, the 7th of January. A zonal flow and a dry air mass. 
We do note the European brings in a cold front. It's got a different look, much different look. While the GFS is dry, the European brings this thing in Tuesday night of next week. So, again, model madness out here, but you kind of always want to side with the European. It's simply better at the medium range. We've got 10 days back to the GFS. This is Thursday. That's a zonal flow, and that shows a front approaching, but, again, confidence out there very low. This is the uh, rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean about four inches over the next 15 days. And the number is coming off the NBM, National Blend of Models. You see potential uh, that for 60s on Thursday. I would uh, probably disagree with that. I think we'll be in the 50s on Thursday with clouds. But I do think we'll see 60s on Friday. Then we drop in the 40s on Saturday. And then seasonal temperatures in here for the first part of next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We're doing a holiday schedule, so one video per day, but we will have fresh notes on the blog this afternoon. Can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy New Year, and God bless. AS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.